It's starting with me, right? Yeah, it's starting with you. Hey! Well, I'm not doing the songs anymore. And what's <laughs> going on, everybody? This is Cody. Max. Zach. And this is the Talk It Wolf Podcast. <laughs> Which song was that? <laughs> I'm fucking over it. <laughs> it's a spoken it's, word. It's always like right before the podcast starts, I go, I don't have a song. <laughs> What do so I that's do? It. It's another moment in history. Last time was no headphones, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Did we figure out what episode this is? Eleven, perhaps. Uh, yeah. We've also took a little bit of a break, yeah, uh, from the podcast. Uh, so that's some time to self reflect. Yeah, and really, yeah. Um, decide what we want to do with this podcast. Pretty taxing. And what we're gonna do is remain with no headphones. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and he's not going to sing anymore. It has you know. so no more songs. We have to create an intro song for this. We already have an idea, though. Speaking of which, of intro songs, we have a TikTok segment that we're really excited to start rolling out. Where I literally had to compose an intro for it. Yes, like and a two, like a point two second intro. And it's so funny because it's it's exactly what we imagined. Yeah, and like everything we made for it was just like a homegrown idea that we were like, all right, fuck it, let's just do it. Yeah, and I'm really excited to do it. It's called Tour Stories. Tour and uh, that, that's literally how it started. Yeah. We just sang that, and yeah. then Cody turned it into how many layers? I think it there? was like eighteen layers of vocals. It yeah. is, it is a work of art. It I haven't incredible. posted the first one yet. Maybe, maybe I should. Maybe today. Yeah, just post it right now. Right now, dude, go for it. Okay, yeah, fuck it. We, post it right now, man. It's been crazy. Like it, it's time felt like this whole year that it's been going by super fast. Then all of a sudden, it feels like it's going super slow. Does yeah. it feel like that for anybody else? Because like, I haven't seen yeah. you guys, and well, it hasn't even been that long. But it feels like it's been forever. It felt like whatever last month was, what is it, July? It was about two seconds long. Yeah. I don't remember anything that happened yeah. in July. How far in here. August are we? Fourth? We're recording this on August 4th. August 4th. Right Wednesday, now. August 4th. God. Wednesday. So yeah. slow. I know. Are you posting it right <laughs> yeah. now? Yeah. Should I not? No, I think you should. Okay. Why not? Hey, he's going to post it right now. I'm excited. So, yeah, we basically, this whole segment is that, like, you, you probably have already seen it by now, now that I think about it, yeah. uh, based on the trajectory of when this is going to release. Oh, that's wild. But, um, yeah, we just started we, – we have an idea. We're creating a bunch of content for something we can't talk about just yet. Uh, please try not to break the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to let it slide, and I was like, fuck! <laughs> I'm trying to post this tiki talkie. Oh. Oh, and if you, if you are watching on YouTube – Shay and I, uh, over the holiday season, bought these mugs that we haven't put into storage. So uh, today, Zach is, uh, well, Max is Mr. Claus and Zach is Mrs. Claus. And it feels good. It feels good. Uh, Something something that's going to suck is that I have to do the captions for this pod, for this TikTok. We can do it right after we're done. Oh, post it right after we're done? Yeah, let's do it right after we're done. Let's do movie magic. Say we're posting it right now. Speaking of movie magic, have you guys seen any movies lately? Oh, or or man. new shows you've been into or anything like that. When I mean that, like July went so fast, I don't know what happened. Yeah. I don't remember what I've been. Dude, doing. it's kind of blurry. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I know that a lot of us have been on like uh, personal like weight loss journeys, workout journeys, things of that nature. You you hit us with some news of part. Oh of your yeah, journey, which is fucking awesome. Uh, I've been doing Zach's Fitness Corner. <laughs> <laughs> it's that we need Zach's a song for this. Fitness, fitness Corner. Too. It's just Zach. <laughs> In his fitness corner, <laughs> Zach's fitness corner. It's just Zach in his fitness, fitness corner. Uh, I, I I still hate that it's my corner. <laughs> I wish I had the whole room. I, dude, I imagine the intro. It's you in a corner sobbing, lifting dumbbells. <laughs> I know, and you guys are like, "Do it, do it, do it!" Like right Zach's up. fitness <laughs> corner. It's just Zach. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Uh, in my corner. Wish I, <laughs> wish I had the whole room, but one day. Not using yeah. it for anything. <laughs> yeah. You go into the gym. Where do you, where where do I go to work out? There. Yeah. In your corner. In your corner. <laughs> the, the whole sign. gym. They're playing it over yeah. one like broken speaker. It's just like a busted. Speaker now bear with me here. The whole gym is just a bunch of corners <laughs> <laughs> that they've made. And it's just people, and yeah. it's like that's Julia's corner, that's James's corner, and the that's songs Zach's. are all playing all yeah. over each other. Julia Zach's Zach's fitness corner. It's just Julia Zach. Stupidest fucking thing in the world. I love it. Um, so how's it going? Uh, it's going really good. So I've gotten to a point where I have lost twenty pounds. Twenty Huge. pounds. Yeah. In Zach's fitness, fitness corner. corner, it's just Zach. Zach. And now I've hit a plateau. <laughs> I will say, and this this is crazy, like for reference, because you can literally find a, like a twenty pound dumbbell 
yeah. and pick it up, and that's it's heavy. Like, yeah, there's weight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. So yeah. good fucking job. It's Actually, it's you huge. told me you said that I should uh, pick up a twenty pound weight mm-hmm. and wear and and hold it and like actually go on like a treadmill and walk with it, and I did, and it was very interesting. I would I would uh, like to point out that the, the twenty pounds is like right there, and like the other weight was all over my yeah. body. So like I'm like holding this weight. I also look fucking ridiculous on a treadmill yeah. trying to like hug a weight. Like, Dude, I saw this video. There's this guy who like you know some like DPs and videographers have like their thing. Like we know a guy that uses like a hoverboard to as his own dolly yeah. cam thing. Yeah, yeah. There's one guy that he runs. He sprints through alleys with a giant stick and the camera's about seven feet above his head and he's running like this. I saw a video recently of this guy training to do this and he's holding one dumbbell in front of him and sprinting on a treadmill. Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> it works, but dedication. it's just so funny to, to see that. Yeah. Like what else would that be for? And I imagine that one shoulder has got to be way stronger than that. That and like, <laughs> he's working so hard at doing that one thing. Does he know how to do other stuff? I don't know, but I <laughs> saw the footage. It's cool. It's very shaky. Yeah. But yeah, like, yeah. They're like, hey, can we just get like a normal pan in shot? And he's like, I can put it seven feet up and run really fast. <laughs> No, we just need like a regular. Yeah. We have drones and like cranes. Yeah, but like I've been working really hard at this. Yeah. Do you want to see a video of me doing it? (laughs) Look, this is what I do to prepare. We don't care at all. (laughs) Post it on Reddit. Get your karma there, man. Let's go. Oh, Oh, man. Yeah. What else else is going on? Oh, I'm single now. It's been weird. Yeah. Yeah. I'm single Mm. now. Song never got released. It was another song. It was. It's a bad guy. I, I, no, I don't want to steal the thunder from your... No, I love this story. So basically, there was a song that we didn't release because it was too corny lyrically that turned into Bad Guy. Bad Guy stayed what it was. We had the, I spend the night, da 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 Brought that to a guy, did a co-write session. Really fun time because we really liked the song, but we just knew it wouldn't go over well. So we stripped it back to its original memo, and then it became, through another session, Bad Guy. So the verses were the same, essentially. Yeah. And then we the already chorus had the verses, changed. Already had the chorus. And the chorus was... The uh the chorus was guess I'm single now better alert the press because now I'm oh uh, yeah it was ridiculous <laughs> it was catchy as hell though it was really catchy don't know who don't know where it was just yeah not it it was it wasn't there you yeah, know but I like that it melody kind of, oh, nice little oh. but yeah you're single yeah it's been uh it's been uh interesting uh, it's yeah. my first time being single in a long time and it's funny because the it's been like you know two or two or so years since I've been on dating apps, and uh, <laughs> it's if you had told me that two years from now everyone in their profile would be like vaccinated, I'd be like, that's a weird did thing. Did you? But you did put a photo of you with a fish, right? You have to, or yeah, a tiger. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people with tigers. There's, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Where are people finding tigers? Wherever do they you go can. to the zoo, like, can I get in there real quick? I think so. <laughs> They're like, yo, man, I really need this for my dating app. Yeah. But they did some study that, like, I guess if you have, like, some sort of animal, especially one that, like, grabs your attention. A fish. A fish. Yeah. Yeah. They'll, <laughs> or a tiger or a tiger fish. A gerbil. Yeah. Any, yeah. any kind, really. Um, they'll, uh, they're more likely to, to swipe on you. Could you do me a favor and create a profile of just you finding obscure animals? <laughs> Every photo is you with a new obscure animal, we, like a possum. We did go to Australia, so I've got some photos of the koala, okay, the awesome. kangaroo. Well, those will go great. I want you to find like really weird animals, <laughs> that people like yeah, like a rat <laughs> holding it by its tail. It's like, <laughs> other people's photos. Yeah, you don't want him to post those. You want to find other people with and those. No, photos. I want you to make a profile of you with these animals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That would never go well. I know it's just fun. I think if it, it was, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be successful. Yeah. A photo of me holding a rat by the tail and it's got a party hat on would get me some likes. I think people Actually, would be yeah, interested. True. Like I like to party. Yeah, they'd match uh, just to be like, what? what I you, I've wrong? never, I've never <laughs> like uh, done the. Well, I guess I've I did Tinder years and years yeah. ago, but I feel like it's evolved so much from then. If you're under six foot, it's pretty soul crushing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they let you know. There's like a fucking sign for entry. <laughs> no, it really, they're like, someone's profile will be like, love always, God first. If you're under six feet, go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh a gremlin. my God. Oh, like, God, they're yeah. not kidding. So like, you're they're set. mean. You're totally set. Yeah, it, I mean, I'm. I mean, you're taken, but like, I'm yeah, saying. Happily. Yeah, happily. Right. Please, babe, for the record. Babe, <laughs> he said it. <laughs> Looking right at it. Babe, oh, God, I know, I, I promise. <laughs> like a fucking hostage. Um, oh my God. No, uh, yeah, but like I'm sure it's like because uh, you were single, uh, uh, you know, for some of uh, the beginning of Tinder, right? Yeah. So I so I had these apps 
like a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But things have just changed so drastically. Like between yeah. like what they allow on the app and like how people are talking to each other. But it's just weird. Like, yeah, again, like I never thought that I would see like go to someone's profile and I'm like, oh, this person seems nice. And then it's like, if you're vaccinated, swipe left forever and die. And I'm like, from from chicken pox? What do you mean? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Um, so there's people that are like, everything's so divisive now. Yeah. Even on dating apps. It's like, like if you so if you are vaccinated, swipe left and die. Mm-hmm. And there's probably someone that's like, if you are if you're not vaccinated, swipe left and die. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everything's a battle. I know. You're just yeah. even your way through. Yeah. Just that's, trying to find love. That's so are, 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 have you found any like really weird like biographies or anything that sticks out like oh, that? Oh, let's see. I would have to look. Um, there, if you come across any, you got to remember it. There was one that us. was just like, they weren't. It wasn't a joke. They were what? just nothing. I just realized that I was sipping my water away from the mic, but I was doing it closer to Max, like I was like about a tea. to. Yeah. Try to I was the tea. gonna tell him a secret. Yeah. yeah. Don't fucking <laughs> don't tell them that I'm babe. I was. I'm right here. Um, I swear. No, uh, like there was this person who was using all of the the, the photos of um, popular TikTok influencer Bella Porch, who's like. Known around the world, like yeah. how did you think that someone was not going to know? Yeah, there was someone there, with a photo of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Like, there's one person that looks did like. Did they Dwayne try the Rock. to use their name as that person? Yeah, like I'm Dwayne. Yeah, I'm on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like one blurry photograph of of the yeah. Rock. Like, you a pixels. better photo. Yeah. yeah. He's too busy with his Terramana tequila, man. He's got no time for high res. I mean, I yeah. swiped because, like, in the, the small chance that it is The Rock, I'm not yeah. going to not go on a date with The Rock. Yeah, of course. You, know? yeah, you got to experience it. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like he treats you right. You I know? saw yeah. Jungle Cruise. Oh. I didn't think I was going to go see it. Oh, you went. I went. Well, I got the AMC stuff. Yeah. Yo, uh, say what you will about uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He puts butts in seats, man. He puts yeah. butts in seats. <laughs> Dwayne butt- The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Saying it like that yeah. is so funny. He puts funny. butts in seats. He puts butts in seats. Yeah, you went and saw that because of The Rock, right? He put my butt you, in the seat. You, yeah. He, you saw well, The went, Rock and you're no, like, my butt, needs in, my butt needs to be in a seat. I went to see it because Shay wanted to see The Rock. And Exactly. Yes. And so I, she wanted to see Jungle Cruise really badly. And I was like, I'm not seeing that. And just because like, I was like, I don't, I already don't ride the ride. I don't yeah. want to see you a movie like about Cruise? the ride. I've just never, like if I'm at Disney and I'm picking my, if I'm making my list of things I want to accomplish that yeah. day, mm-hmm. it's not at the top of my list. You know, it's like an OG. It's like opened with the yeah. park. You know, it doesn't like, make me want to ride here, it more. But it's not even the ride itself. Weird. It's you go at the end of the night and it's the ride is made by the, um, the, the actor that's yeah. telling you about everything. Okay. And at the end of the night, they don't care. Yeah, it's which the is funny, just like seeing a Disney ride and it's this magical land and just an apathetic person being like, oh, look, there's an animatronic hippopotamus. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Also, it's worth it so just for that. So there's just like complete apathy. Like yeah. he's like, uh, ah. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. a ride making fun of Disney. Also, they've actually recently updated it to fit the movie now. Oh, that so. makes sense. And then um, the it water. It was a good movie, by the fun way. Fun fact, by the way, the water on that ride is actually dark on purpose because they dye it that way so that it hides the boat track. That the boat's on. Ah, they think of everything, don't they? To hide the animatronics. Yeah, and, and the little ele- the little elephants. Yeah, those are real. <laughs> you gonna start up? We gonna start a new podcast? Yep. Zach's facts. <laughs> no, all about Disney. Zach's facts. I just about want people to know, man. People need to know. People need to know. What else you got over there? About Disney? About your yeah. So much. Dude. Deepest fact. The deepest. The fact? deepest, deepest fact, fact you know. Uh, deep, deep. Deepest fact you know. <laughs> <There's>, Excavate. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Walt Disney got denied by like 200 banks to start Disney World. 200? Disneyland, I should say. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you oh, imagine no, actually, driving. no, I thought it went better. <laughs> wait, wait, wait hold, let's stop there for a second. Can you imagine driving to 200? <laughs> I know. The persistence you got to like, have to be like, it, it's been 199. Yeah, I, I know. think this next yeah. one's going to do like it. Like his wife is in the car with him like, hun, we've been <laughs> to 56 of these yeah. banks. Maybe do something else. Yeah, and he's like, nope, I got at least 146 more to it's go. Okay. Okay, gas is a nickel. <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you understand? Gas is a nickel. <laughs> and it's like, but it's like, yeah, I know that's, but a nickel's kind of a lot of money. Back. <laughs> it's the 40s. I Walt. know that you're speaking from the from the viewpoint <laughs> yeah. of someone living in the future, yeah. but actually, it's, it's equal to yeah. our wage. You know, a, 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 yeah, a nickel buys like a whole week's worth of rent, you know? Yeah. I mean, a whole week's worth of food. It's just so funny that this guy drew a picture of a mouse once and was like, I'm going to make a whole world. <laughs> Give me money. I drew yeah. a mouse, 200 banks yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, but Disneyland, the idea for the original Disneyland was started uh, when Walt would take his kids. I know, I'm sorry, I call him Walt. Would take his kids to... <laughs> first name basis. Yeah. I love him so much. Uh, 
<laughs> so he would take his kids on this carousel, and he thought it would be nice if they if there was a place where he could take his kids all day, and he could also have fun with his kids. Oh, okay. Not just the carousel thing, but that carousel is in Griffith Park, and I've seen it many. No times. No way! Wow, it's the Griffith Park carousel. <laughs> And thank you for joining me <laughs> on Mr. Walt Disney's Adventure. Thank you. That was a fe- we featured our friend Spencer for that segment. Yeah. <laughs> we brought him in just to say that one sentence. <laughs> Cost us a pretty penny too. Cost us at least yeah. a nickel. So. Yeah, we have to pay for his flight back now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the way out of here. Yeah. That's so expensive. No, we have to have him. <laughs> it's what? what Walt would have wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's God. like he claims to be a distant relative of yeah. Walt, and that's yeah. why we have him on on our talk it off podcast. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> nothing to do with theme park. So without spoiling anything, not, yeah. I don't know if they're spoil. I mean, I'm assuming they're on a boat and they go on a jungle cruise. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, like out of out of, uh, out of a, a, a Cody one to ten stars. What, and but before we do this, what is your what is your one? Give me a movie that's a one and movie none. that's a ten. The Nun is a one. Okay, nice. the Nun's a one. The Dark Knight's a ten. Dark Knight's a ten. Um, what do we think of Suicide Squad? The have, first one. The uh, first the one. Original. Uh, I could. I didn't really get through it. Better than the Nun. You didn't even get through it. I couldn't really get through it. Oh my god. That was really cringing. <laughs> so that might be a one. That's it's a close one. to that. But you can't yeah. even finish. However, it. I am very excited for the next one. The Suicide Squad. Yes, I'm already going to get my tickets today. Comes mm-hmm. out tomorrow night. Yeah. It, it's it's going to be really funny if it's bad because that means they got you to pay for a bad movie twice. Well, apparently, I mean, again, it's it's marketing and you got to do it. And if they're, they're doing a great job, but Tim Gunn is awesome. Yeah. He's the one directing it and everyone's saying that I've heard a quote saying that this is the best superhero movie out. Wow. That's, that's like, been a sentence ever? that's been uttered. Like, like, Someone has said ever that sounds superfluous. I doubt that's actually the case. Yeah. But ever, the, there are there have been people that have like seen it and talked about it, and everyone's freaking out about yeah. it. It's already like certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes via wow. critics. It looks like it's gonna be awesome. The tagline is "Don't mm. get too attached." So because I'm... they're is they're not they're like forget what we did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I, that's they can't say that. I thought that was their way of being like these people are gonna die. You're not gonna yeah. get a second Suicide Squad. I to think me, that it means movie... like remember the first one. Yeah. yeah. Don't get attached to that. I think that movie is one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Like Suicide straight, Squad, straight up one of the worst. They spend like the first twenty minutes of the movie. There's like, so many people you're upsetting right now, <laughs> but really? I'm with you on it. They spend like the first. <laughs> I can't believe that. There's like the first. It's like objectively a bad. Does movie. everyone hate it? Yeah, and like the first There's someone home like the first. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing a Suicide Squad shirt. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the first twenty it's Jared minutes. Jared Leto. They're bringing a upset. pencil in both hands. Yeah, it's Jared Leto. You've really upset him. Oh yeah. The first like twenty minutes of the movie is the. Same. It's like the same scene eight times of introducing a character. Mm. Yeah, and like by the time that it's done, they start to make you like, uh, they they start to make you want to like believe in the characters and like, uh, like you want to be on the bad guy's side or whatever. But yeah. it's like, dude, I don't know any of them, yeah. man. You showed me like four seconds of each one. Like, I don't know what the <laughs> I, fuck's happening. I never <laughs> saw it, but I remember seeing a clip that I thought was edited of the first time you hear the Joker laugh, oh. and it was like one of the worst. Laughs oh. I've ever heard in my entire life. He's sitting in a diner and he covers his face and it's like a yuck yuck yuck. Can't be real, <laughs> man. Yuck, yuck, yeah, yuck. Like, it was almost that bad, yeah. dude. You know, where I was out was when they started to reveal him because I was like, Jared Leto could be an amazing Joker. Yeah, yeah. Why I not? was out aesthetically almost immediately when I saw face tattoos. I've never heard of a Joker with face tattoos. I'm sure there's a comic. Yeah, no. trust me. But I mean, like, actually, there is a comic. I, I, so- <laughs> I don't. I don't really care. Even if they didn't. Even if they're not super faithful to the comics, that doesn't bother yeah, me. Yeah, but it's just it. like he's. Uh, but I just it he seems sucks. so anti Joker to me. Sucks. Yeah, sucks. I think I think it was important to do because Heath Ledger's Joker was so good oh, that he yes. set a precedent, and so now you have this you is the be best the it's ever going to be, right? Yeah. So you can't be the same. So yeah. having this like uh, buffer. By having someone objectively play the worst Joker of all time, mm-hmm. now we now people are just like, I'll take anything that's better than that. So now yeah. I feel like the bar has been lowered thanks to Dude, Jared Leto. I, nice. I'm shooting my shot right now. I think how everyone felt about Heath Ledger becoming the Joker and then him sh- him knocking it out of the park, mm-hmm. I feel like Robert Pattinson will be the next best Dude. Bruce Wayne anyone's ever seen. That trailer is Awesome. I think he's going to be the best. When is that supposed to come out? I don't know. It's a good question. I can't also, wait to see like, that. Oh, I never I, gave you my rating, by the way. Yes. I would rate Jungle Cruise about a 6.5. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Because oh. it's, it's an entertaining movie. The, That's, like, good. Dude. Yeah, yeah. It's an entertaining movie. I was not bored, yeah. ever. Um, the chemistry between... Is it Emily Blunt yeah. and Dwayne mm-hmm. The Rock Johnson? You have to add in The Rock. In yeah, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah, I can't just call him Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. It's weird to me. Who's that? Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. Rock bottom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I, their chemistry is awesome. They're great on screen together. This is the first time I've seen The Rock as a character in like a Disney 
energy film where he's not just like smiling and winking at everybody. Yeah, he's, he's very like break the fourth wall. Yeah, kinda. he didn't really do that that much. He was actually kind of jaded in it, and it was That's kind cool. of funny. Did Same do you think of him? if if it was like I don't know, like instead of him, it was someone. You know, whatever. Like it was like Polly Shore or whatever. Like someone that's you're not like someone super else that could have done about. that role. Or are you saying would somebody else make me like it less? If The Rock wasn't in it okay. and it was just like a stand-in, someone who was just like it was Polly Shore. I don't know. I just picked a name. <laughs> you such know? a random name. Such I don't know. I thought the person. same thing too. I but, was like, he hasn't been in movies in like twenty years. Oh boy, I can't even do. It. I can't even do an impression. Like it's Rob Schneider. You know, it could be like yeah. like yeah. anyone but The Rock. Would it yeah. not? Would it have been as good? I mean, if you're if they're either of those Mark two Walbert. people, no, I don't. Mark what about Walbert. could Marky Wa- Mark do it? Yeah, actually, he would be Marky, perfect. He'd Mark. probably be the next Mark. best person to do, do it. Yeah. What's, the, do you think what's it that movie? Been... What's that movie with Mark Mark Wahlberg where it's like uh, the nature's attacking him and he's like, "Hey, um, the trees are coming and <laughs> it's like really hurting my body." Do you guys not know what I'm that is about? not a thing? Not no, a real movie. it is, dude. It is. <laughs> the and dream like, you had. And no, 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 um, no. What? It's the called trees like, are, no, I think it's called the happening. It's the happening. The happening. Oh no, no, no. That's the I'm one. Looking this that's up. the one that. Um, yeah, it's. I'm gonna Google the trees are hurting my body. Like your eyes change color. It's like, hey, um, nature's like mad at us and stuff. And like, can we come in your house so that we don't die by like nature? And then I'm not kidding, dude. Everything's a question. It's like, it's um, like I was wondering yeah. if like you could help me get out of this movie in junk. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I Googled the trees are hurting my body. And the fourth or the third one is here's why you're wrong when you say plants feel pain. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Things are heating up in the in the plant uh, fandom. So the happening, the happening with Mark Wahlberg. He's in this. What is this? This is a horror movie. Yeah, with, isn't that yeah, with Zoe like Deschanel? Sus- it's like a suspense, and he's like, "Oh, is this oh. an M Night Shyamalan movie?" Dude, uh, drop oh. a trailer. Hey, Zach, editing this. Drop a trailer right there. Like All right, a quick so, one. Really yeah. fast. So yeah, so M Night Shyamalan did this movie. He uh, he wrote this movie. He produced this movie. I think that's always really funny. When like they get so proud of the credits, yeah. they're like, oh, "Put it all over! I, I did all! I did everything!" Yeah. Like the Zack Snyder movie that came oh out, the zombie one. I, I looked at the billboard. It's like Zack Snyder, filmed by Zack Snyder, Snyder. screen so, written by Zack, Zack Snyder, Snyder. Even the be- edited by Zack Snyder. Even the beginning when you start it, they're like, "This film is presented in four three aspect ratio as Zack Snyder would have wanted." And I'm like, "Ooh, <laughs> four three, dude." He, yeah, he, like, it's such an egotistical thing I to know. do. Like well, you, you directed it. We're proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, of M Night Shyamalan, I haven't seen this movie, but I Old? heard. Yeah, I heard. There's, I want to see it for this one reason, and this you is a spoiler. I want to see it only for this. <laughs> Apparently, at one point in the movie, a baby just turns to dust. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to see that scene so I bad. I saw the best TikTok, which I was like, oh, this is going to spoil it for me. And then I was like, I don't care. I'm not going to go see this movie. But this person just made fun of the entire movie. They're like, here's the entire thing. Yeah. And then I don't want to go into it just in case someone does want to see it. But yeah. they just leave the beach. Oh, boy. Yeah. Like, like, hey, like uh, we're all here. Let's yeah. all talk about the reasons why we can't leave the beach. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pack it up. Go home. Yeah. Man. I heard like the premise is really good, but the acting and like the – um. The script is just god awful. Yeah. Um. What? How? How far into this little sucker are we? I don't know. Well, so we have to subtract about five minutes because we were on for a while. Just, yeah. Just um, so we're about like twenty-two minutes in. Should we do uh, uh, the? I'm I'm having fun on the movie combo right oh, now. Oh, I'm, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just were, that you should, oh, apologize one more time. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. I, I finally I forgive you. I'm gonna edit it out. <laughs> um. Now I don't know where to go. It's uh, so old. I yeah. I don't want. I don't want to see old. As far as upcoming movies, I'm really excited about Suicide Squad. Are you guys gonna go see it? Yeah. You want to see it together? Yeah. I don't, you want to go tomorrow night? Is it open tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. What day is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah. I'm done with okay, that. Cool. Do I have something to do on Thursday? I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm good. No. Let me just talk about my <laughs> schedule here on the podcast. Uh, there's there's that. Um, being a Marvel fan, what if comes out I next week? I would love week. to see what if. Uh, you guys won't really care, but like training camp opens up. Like it's already open, but like uh, Hard Knocks starts next week. Uh, Zach and I, this is totally, uh, I just want to get in all the facts of stuff that I'm excited oh, yeah. about right now. Zach and I, what, late night, decided we were going to hop on together for Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. And we're like, oh, there's this thing called Gun Game Tournament. Let's see what that is. Essentially what that is is it's two people versus two people in a small map, and then you get rounds, and you have to eliminate both people with a random assortment of guns. And we were 0, to 0 and 5. Like, yeah. it, we have to, it's first to six. They beat us five times in a row. And we came back five to five. Oh, my God. And they and then it was just, we just had, it slipped out of our hands at the last one. Yeah, but we were screaming, let's go. It also, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, we, were, we were talking about this. And, and tell us if you're interested in the comments. But yeah. 
if if we if you recorded that, mm-hmm. you guys playing Call of Duty, is that something y'all would be interested in? I feel like you guys have a good back and forth, some ha ha's. I'd be down for that. It'd be cool. Uh, I don't it know might, how we would do it. We honestly, now that I think about it, like we're very strategic. I don't know if we'll be cracking too many. Actually, we probably will. Oh yeah. 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 We'll figure it out. We'll figure it yeah, out. But if you're I, down, I, I don't, I don't have out. like a setup. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And also, I feel like this is your guys's con to get me to start doing Twitch. You want to do Twitch? Oh, he's in. I start doing. T- I like. I do it once, and I'm like, "Oh, I got everything. I yeah. have the whole whole setup. Let's go." We just all of a sudden you're like, "Thank you so, so much, much. <laughs> for the sub bomb." <laughs> you. The thing is, I feel like you would be so good at it. You think so? I, I honestly think that I would start doing Twitch, and immediately I would. They would expect me to have like the like pepped up attitude, like energy, and I just would never no, want to. Funnier that I way. I think that's what would make it. Better. I would never want to do it. I would be like, Ugh, "Hey." <laughs> Like hey, everybody. So, well, you know what we're going to do is we're going to open Call of Duty and not answer questions. <laughs> I think there's something to that, yeah. honestly. And then the whole time it would just be me going, oh, fucking idiot. It would be so funny. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Fucking idiot. I could like, you know, we have like all these effects that happen when that trigger different things. And all yeah. it would be really funny to have you do a stream where we just had things that can be triggered and that are allowed. Oh, my yeah. God. That are like loud things that just interrupt your stream. So you're playing the game like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, every time I'm playing the game, if I kill somebody, I, I, I'm like, yes, got it. And every time I die, I'm like, God, I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm the dumbest fucking guy that's ever played Call like, of Duty. No, yeah. Well, not. I don't actually, I don't like say it out loud. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying that in my head. If I did say it, I'm like, you like rage on Twitch. Yeah, my girlfriend would be like, yo, chill. There's got to be a, a bunch of good clips of people rage quitting I've on, Twitch. Quit on like, Twitch. On Twitch? So many times. Like, have uh, you thrown a controller or anything? No, like, but I've just been like, I've like, for example, we were playing that the new Paper Mario. Yeah. And I love There's the, a new Paper Mario? It came out a, a couple months ago. Okay. Don't bother. It's garbage. Uh, <laughs> It, um, I love the original, the first one and Thousand Year Doors, like one of my favorite like the games old of all time. One, right? Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, dude, I'm so excited for this game. It's going to be so much fun. And it was like really hard. Yeah. <laughs> is it like, do, can you set a difficulty or is it just nope. out of control? Nope. Difficult? It's just insane. And then like, I just flipped so fast from being so excited. Be like, this game is honestly stupid. It's an embarrassment <laughs> to the franchise. And I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to bother by playing it. This sucks. The stream is over. Goodbye. <laughs> like, Dude, there's been uh, so many times where I've heard you freak out mm-hmm. about uh, streaming, st- like streaming equipment not working, and it's like it's the worst feeling, dude. I well, I think Max's freak out is always mm. really funny to me. <laughs> like it makes some people, some people don't know how to deal with it, yeah. so it makes them really uncomfortable. But for me, I find it hilarious, <laughs> and it's always fucking. Uh, oh! Cool. <laughs> Spent my whole day trying to figure this out. It is now I can't because guess what? <laughs> Twitch doesn't want to work. <laughs> it is like, it is every, every ounce of sarcasm I have I in my yeah, body. Dude. It's like you a fire out of me. Of I'm like, and then like, oh no, that's definitely what I wanted. I wanted this yeah, to happen. Yeah, I like then, that you're becoming the inflatable. I kind of do. Yeah, like, I'm really, I become then, an, I'm like a little dude, rubber, rubber and hose like character. Dude. And if you get really, really mad, yeah. it's the sarcasm, but a goofy voice starts to come oh, yeah. out. <laughs> dude, there was one time we... <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! You watched this. It was I so did. early was in the morning. So There's this funny. thing on Warp Tour called the Gauntlet. Yeah. In the first couple weeks oh of Warp Tour, god. it's like two or three shows and then an off day. Two or three shows and then an off day. And you're outside almost all day. You're hot and you're sweaty. You're working, but you have these days off. We can relax. And then there's this Gauntlet, which is. 14, 15 days in a row. It's brutal. Just parking lot after parking lot, and you are exhausted. And it is like the true test. Everyone is at wit's end. And I woke up and I was looking for something. Like someone had moved something in the bus, and I just I had to get somewhere. And I was so frustrated. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I go to open up this cabinet, and yeah. something falls directly on my head. No, the cabinet door uh, fell. Oh, off that's the where hinges. the whole cabinet the door. door. <laughs> Yeah, onto my head and, and like it's as if like it broke something in my brain yeah. and I was like oh, oh, oh guess what happened oh, okay, okay. Like, it was insane he was like oh I guess I got my head hit by the door <laughs> no way. dude like I'm not kidding like the, like a giant lump might have come out and have birds going around like it was, I dude. had just like I remember being like that's I, the best mad reaction. I, I lost my mind. Like yeah, my yeah. mind just it was gone. Oh man! I do. Uh, I, I it was like eight the, in the morning. I remember you had been in the band for like Someone two. Someone invite the guy who does voice for Goofy. <laughs> yeah. on the bus. You had been in the band for like like a year, oh, I think. Maybe. Yeah. And we were like yeah. still loading our own, <sighs> like at this point we were still loading our own trailer and shit. And I remember one time I was like smoking a cigarette too long. I was like just trying to get out of loading yeah. the trailer, like yeah. we all did at certain points. I was like trying to do something like that, and like your family was there, and uh, 
at the show. Oh yeah, yeah. and I like wasn't helping, and then uh, and then you were like <laughs> sarcastically like, "Oh, cool! I hope your cigarette's good because you know uh, we're sh- we're supposed to be loading the trailer, and my fucking dad's here." And, like, and I'm like, "Yeah, it's pretty good. Are you actually mad?" <laughs> yeah. I can't tell. Yeah, you didn't stop. You were just yeah, like, I was yeah, like, "It's not bad." <laughs> And right now, someone, exactly what I, I need, think someone yeah. later on had to be like, yeah, he was actually like super pissed. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just those those weird moments on on tour where it's like the smallest thing. You like yeah. your cup is full and the, yeah. the tiniest little thing. Like you were like, hey man, can you make sure you save me that sandwich? And then they like forget to save the sandwich. And you're like, <laughs> my week is ruined. Dude, it's never it's never a big thing. It's no. never because yeah. we're you don't realize you're compartmentalizing little inconveniences along the way through tour. Yep. And then eventually at the end of tour, you're at, you hit the demon round yeah. and mm-hmm. then something small happens and then you're just fucking everything's ruined. You know what it usually is? What? And like granted, so th- this bus is constantly moving. So like things are falling out. So it's not like people are like intentionally leaving booby traps around <laughs> the bus, yeah, but yeah. you'll be walking and you're just like, You've, you've been like trying to find a place to brush your teeth for like 45 minutes yeah. or shower or do laundry or something and like eight other people are in front of you and you're just like so tired and you're like walking back and you're like, no, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to reassess and I'm just going to take a second to myself and you like trip on something someone left. Oh, dude. And in your mind, just for a brief moment, in your mind, you're like, I'm going to do everything I can to ruin this person. <laughs> <laughs> they did this to me intentionally yeah, yeah. and I'm going to get them back. so personal. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they, they, knew, they knew I wouldn't want this here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's also like... They um, knew I'd be here at this time. <laughs> it's so... It's like they're masterminds. They're in the shadows, like yeah. It's like you know how in like movies with like those evil masterminds, they they they're always three steps ahead. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like you'd have to be on that level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's so funny how all of us do do like the same thing, but we all like it's hard to explain. It's like we all think everybody on tour thinks that they're the perfect person on tour, <laughs> but they're just as shitty as I all know. the people that they're mad at. You know what so gets like, me? Oh, dude. I, oh, sorry. Go ahead. So like. Uh, in like the there's in the back of our bandwagon, there's a shower where we, uh, you know I where if we're about to say the same thing. Oh uh, yeah, so all, there's always towels on the ground. Okay, in change. The shower. Not that. There's always towels. Change, change. There's always yeah. change. Yeah, and like someone's uh, a pair of underwear that's there for like two weeks. because yeah. nobody wants to pick it up. So like, uh, but then like, you'll get so mad when you go in there and you'll see towels on the ground. And you're like, I can't believe I live with these fucking animals. Yeah, dude. They dude. just leave shit on the ground wherever they go. And then you step on them and like fucking dry yourself <laughs> off. Put, put your towel on a little hook. That's yeah. like not secure at all. And it's like definitely going to come off. dude. So what I would do is, so when I would get a new towel, I have, you know, like the tags have a little hoop in it. I would use the hoop of my tag to go yep. around the hook. And one day I came in and my tag had broken. Oh. Well, what probably really happened was this like the vehicles moved so much yeah. someone probably snagged it but in my mind I was like who just ripped my towel <laughs> who ruined my towel yep dude there's no a- one did my thing was is is in the same room there is a <laughs> there's a shelf above the mirror mm-hmm. where everyone puts their toiletry bags and you no one wants to be the bag in the back on the bottom no. and so I always try that like when you get into the bandwagon at first you want to like secure your bed yep. secure your cubby and secure where cer- certain things go one of the most important things to me is where my toiletry bag goes and I, I it's totally not a sign because in my there, mind it's not moving <laughs> when, oh, yeah. but in my it, mind it I feel like it, no, it is moving <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I hate it and I had a similar situation where like I was already mad I was like, like I'm like guess it's not gonna be easy to reach today yeah. Yeah. and I opened it and it wasn't and then someone's bag fell on my head oh <laughs> Dude, there's another like speaking of like being like uh, like imagining every like everyone imagines they're the perfect person is when you lose something the first thought is always and it's always like telling other people like who took my this yeah. <laughs> who took it and yeah. they're like making this whole big deal and they're yeah. like who t- oh it's right here yeah <laughs> it's like dude everybody's your enemy in that moment uh, yeah. And it's it's funny because like it only it mostly happens at the end when you're yeah. when you start the tour, dude. It's like oh my god, here we go. Yeah. It's just it's exhausting. It's the, so much fun. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. We obviously love what we do, but at the end, you're just like oh my There's god. There's a mutual yeah. understanding when when people do that. When someone is in that mood, that you're like yeah, I've been there, man. I it, get it. Yes, it's the equivalent Let it of all like out. of like knowing somebody that just got off like an 18 hour work day. Mm-hmm. At the end of their day, you're just like go relax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's um. We should probably start busting out some oh, questions. Yeah. So we took some questions from the Instagram story. Um, so let's start with this. This actually goes off something that we were talking about earlier. Stop rewind asks, why doesn't Zach have a TikTok? I believe he would be good at it. Oh man, I don't know. I kind of like have really like fallen off social media entirely. Like I'll post my story every now and then, but like, do I've, you feel better for it? Uh, kind of yeah. like at first that was the reason why I did it. Like I, I stopped doing it, 
but uh yeah that and like i just like if i'm being honest like i didn't really like the way i looked for a while like yeah like i didn't want to be in selfies like i didn't yeah. want to be online and i i still kind of feel that way mm -hmm. but i mean i'm like losing like trying to Dude, lose I, I totally like, understand that i've been like a lot less present on like instagram and stuff and i've yeah. been going through a personal like weight loss and fitness journey of my own and i know once i get to my goal i'll be a lot more comfortable mm -hmm. doing that yeah and i think it, it was at first like just like i need to break from this because it was like during um like the uh, I don't, actually, I don't remember the, what the. I think I was going through like a little bit of a health anxiety thing. Oh yeah. yeah. But then like, but yeah. So then I stopped doing it for that, and then like for a long time it was like, I just like I'm, I'm like I, I would try and take a selfie or something, and I'd be like, oh, look at like shit. Yeah. <laughs> and like and like yeah, and like it, it for a while it was just it was just like that, and now I just haven't had the urge to go back. Yeah. So like. I don't think I'll start a TikTok. Like I, I just use the band's TikTok, and that's like, true. Yeah, and like my for you page is fucking chaotic as shit. <laughs> like, all we follow is you two, and like yeah. nothing, and nothing else. So like, yeah, I think there's also like a, we're not like playing shows, and like we're in the middle of a record cycle, yeah. like trying to make a new thing. So the, that's what we get excited about. Those are the things yes. we like to post about. So it's I think it's easier yeah. to have happens. the lull true. in the off season. Uh, you're editing a lot more now too. Yeah. yeah, and like I made a tour stories, and we're, uh, you made one, Max, went, me and yeah. you made one together. We right? did. Like, I'm still on social media. I'm just, I'm just not. It's not really for me yeah. right now. Yeah, but a great answer. I like that. Uh, well, yeah. Let's see. Uh, the next question is from the people in Paris. Version two asks, "What's the most difficult thing about touring?" I only answer version one. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. What is the most difficult thing about touring? I think at first the most difficult thing about touring in our career was not having like. Uh, money or being comfortable. Oh yeah, when yeah. you're if you're if that that's actually I didn't even think about that perspective. Yeah. This is probably coming from somebody that wants to tour. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I think not having, having money. money and not being comfortable and not being like, like and not there's no like um, uh, stability. Like yeah. you don't know where you're fucking staying. You no. don't know. Yeah, you anything. don't know how much what you're gonna eat if you're gonna yeah. eat, and you're you never get a full night's sleep unless yeah. you have like funding. You're gonna be roughing it yeah. for a and while. I, and I think now the mo the hardest thing about touring is just being away from loved ones and like yeah. family and because now we tour like dog. fucking king. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I have another dog that I'm going to like miss, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss Loki now as well mm -hmm. as Shay and Mateo. But for me, I think the hardest part is I get a lot of anxiety leading up to the first few shows. because I want us to put on like a really good show and I'm yeah. so nervous about messing anything up yeah. about production mishaps. I'm really hands on with like the lighting and the production and the tracks and all of that. And if it's not going according to plan, I notice it. And it bothers me. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that's hardest for me. But about, we always hit our stride, which is any artist ever, about show two, show three. Mm -hmm. You just get the first show, knocks out the kinks. And then it's just smooth sailing. And then by that point, it's just falling into, I hate routine. I really hate routine. I've noticed that. I've learned, you know, we've had so much time to learn a lot about ourselves. I was talking to Zach about this. Like, you know, I was going on this hike every day for like two weeks. And I had to tell Shay, and I was like, I can't keep doing this. I got to do something else. Yeah. This is boring. And that's not, not that playing the show becomes boring. That's my highlight of every single day. But the leading up to it and the, and the just waiting after until the next show is mm -hmm. just like a, after a while, I'm just like, I want to just play a fucking show. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny uh, the, to piggyback off that. The, um, I like, I need to be alone. Like me yes. having alone time. If not, I get really overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And when you're sharing a bus with nine other eight, nine or other people, it's really hard to do that. So like, to change it up, I will intentionally like wake up a little bit earlier and like go out and just like Google what's around some food or a coffee shop awesome. or a cool thing. So that way it's like, okay, I'm not living in Groundhog's Day. Uh -huh. There are different things to do here. And then you get some alone time. Like my one of my favorite things to do on tour is going and eating at a restaurant alone. Same. Yeah. Love it. Yes. Yeah. That's I how I, it. that's my favorite off day. Like I'll go out, get a massage, relax, get away from everybody, go get food. Yeah. I have a very, there's a dinner I have burned into my brain that I had alone. It was... I don't even know the name of the restaurant. Oh, I, I guess went, not burned very well. <laughs> well, it was it was like it wasn't a known You're chain. Like, and I think it was like it was like I might have had. Did I eat? I, I think it was, I was, it was like a what? Thai. Maybe it, it was, was Italian. You know what? I was in I was in a mall food court. <laughs> no, like it was a restaurant. I got a steak. I had a gin martini and. What was your wait, waiter's name? 
I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Burn. Okay. Yeah, no, that, like the, the, I just remember the barely, meal. It barely oh, even. It barely even you. turned the singed. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. A little. A little warm. <laughs> it was rubbed in loosely. Yeah. <laughs> popped it in the microwave yeah. for a couple yeah. seconds. Yeah. But the, I guess what I mean by that is I can see it. I can yeah. visually my favorite, see. My favorite thing about you on tour is how different your sleeping schedule is on tour. Oh, uh, dude, I'm, I'm hoping I can fix it someday. You're never going to. Uh, <laughs> dude, it's, it's been like a decade. I know. Yeah. It's happening. so funny because like sometimes you'll, dude, like I wake up, I wake up kind of late on tour too, you know, yeah. middle of the day and like, you know, I have a little bit of time to wake up and like get ready. You're, you wake up, brush your teeth and go to VIP. Like, yeah. Your morning is 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 saying hi to fans and meeting yeah. fans. It's the first thing you do every You're day. You're right. You know what it is? It's like I, I think it has to do with some th- some of that alone time thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. at the end of the night, I like to stay up later than everybody else and you and play video games alone. Mm-hmm. And so I'll do that and I'll have some drinks and I'll just like kind of escape for a second. But then that means that I'm staying up too late and I have to get eight to ten hours of sleep. Yep. And in order to get eight to ten hours of sleep, so I can sing that day. I have to wake up unbelievably late. Yeah, I love. We, I think we've talked about this before, but you you do a vocal check when you wake up to see how your voice is doing. <laughs> yeah. And I can always. It's like it's like you're like when a groundhog sees its shadow. Like if you wake up and I'll hear you go like, uh, and if it's a little raspy, you'll be asleep for like another five or six hours. <laughs> so. It's like no more rest, more rest. Yeah. Gotta shut up because if I'm awake, I'm talking, and that's so hard for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Next question. Yeah. Let's see. Next up, we've got this one's this one's cool. This is from uh, Just Call Me Maddie. They ask, uh, if you had to get a tattoo based around any of your songs, which song and what would it be? I mean, I think mine's obvious. It would be... Um, you already have one. Well, I have one that's based off the song, but not based off the lyric. Oh. Okay. Um, I have a... What he's referring to is I have a thread and needle behind my ear that's a matching tattoo with Shay because it's written about her. It's called Stitch Me Up. But I, if I were to get lyrics tattooed, it would be There Are No Shortcuts to Success. Quote from my dad. It wasn't his original quote, but he left it on a piece of paper on my fridge one day and... It meant a lot to me, so I, I would do that for sure. I don't know, man. I guess I would try and get like, man, maybe like a symbol of wolf in sheep's clothing. I was gonna somehow. say a, like a traditional style tattoo yeah. of a yeah. wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, Wait, was it was it inspired by, or was it like if you had to tattoo lyrics? No, it just said uh, um, if you had to get any tattoo based around your song, oh, which song okay. and what would yeah. it be? Okay, like straight mind. up, mine. Yeah, I do have one. Yeah, I think right. mine would be like a wolf with like a sheep's like skin on it. It's like. I mean, not cartoony though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like menacing. Yeah. Yeah. Know, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. I've seen some really dope like wolf and sheep's clothing tattoos of like the wolf actually breaking through a sheep's skin. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. It's, it's dark and fucking awesome. Yeah. 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 You should get that tattoo. Should yeah. You? Honestly, what, matching what, what would you get? Tattoo. That. I was going to say that. Oh, yeah. my God. Stole right, my now. idea. <laughs> Let me know when you get it so I can just copy it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> fucking Let me, me know what day so I can get it the day before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, this next one is from it's Kyle. There's an X where the Y is, so I'm assuming. Is it's, there it's a Kyle. question mark? No, it's just it's <laughs> K X L E. Oh so I, yeah. It's yeah. Kyle. It's Kyle. Um says, What's your favorite game at the moment? Video game. Video any game. Man, I'm in a lull. I, I, I was playing Ghost, loved that. Um I haven't been playing a lot. Uh, Call of Duty for me, which is weird because I super duper fell out, but then I got super into it again because I went to my brother's house. Uh, anyway, yeah. Call of yeah. Duty. Um, Subnautica Below Zero. It's yeah. so good. It's yeah. so, have you played yet? I no. have not. You told me about it, and I wrote it down, and I need to do it. And you know what I've been trying to do, and I would love to do with you if you're down, is I keep seeing all these videos of like social VR games that are just hilarious. Yes, VR, VR chat. chat. Yeah. There's, that, there's that. another yeah. one that of like these VR guys that are all detectives. Kid. And I saw this one. It goes, listen, I have to show you something, and it will frighten you. So just want you to know, just be prepared. And he turns over this piece of paper, and it's just like a really bad drawing of a scary face. And they go, oh. And he goes, you took that a lot better than I thought you would. <laughs> it's just Dude, like the moments like that. That's the magic of VR chat is that you can make anything anything. So, for yeah. example, uh, me and Zach were playing, and Zach turned himself into a witch doctor. I did, And he yeah. kept going up to people going, let me examine you, let me examine you. Oh, you definitely have the plague, you have the plague. <laughs> and then making all of the people in the server, like, uh, go up to the person and be like, oh, you have the plague, gotta stay away from you, man. You, gotta, <laughs> you have the plague. Which you've done to me. Dude, oh, dude. I also, I also uh, <laughs> in, v- in VR chat, the first time I ever did it, I, I might have talked about this on the mm-hmm. podcast, but... Uh, I made myself 
uh, a character. I saw somebody else and I was like, oh, I want to be that. Tell me how to be that. So I became their avatar, right? And it was like this like uh, rodent character. Yeah. And I was going up to everybody going, hey, you got some cheese? Give me some cheese. I want the cheese. Give me the cheese. <laughs> like just fucking with people. Yeah. And then I somehow ended up getting with this group of people and we started this whole cheese gang. And I was like, <laughs> all right. I was like, everybody become my avatar. Like whatever. So they all became the rodent that I was. And then... Uh, and Did then, you have a way to decipher your, or determine who was like the, the cheese gang king? I was the king because I was just kept talking the most, oh, okay, and then gotcha. and then I was like, you can make your characters do like special emotes in this game, yeah, and you can make them do a backflip. And this one guy, I was like, everybody say your favorite type of cheese and do a backflip, and then you can be in cheese gang. <laughs> so everybody's everybody's going do going do, going down the line and doing you know they're like cheddar, uh, gouda, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Swiss, whatever. And this one guy's like, uh, mine's American cheese and I don't have the emotes, so I'm going to do a backflip in real life. And, dude, he's, you can see his characters like all fucking glitching out because he's wearing the shit in real life doing a backflip on his couch. So, Did he land? So fucking funny. Yeah, and then he lands. He lands it and he goes, and he goes, by the way, uh, none of you are mice. You're all chinchillas. <laughs> Dude. There is there so is like, the and, funniest thing that could happen. I know, and Chinchilla's like, don't give a shit about cheese. <laughs> there is something the, the, the magic of that uh, app is that people will just go along with whatever yeah, you want. You, yeah, you come up so with a scenario funny. and they're like, I'm in. Let's it's also it. really yeah. funny that as soon as one girl voice happens, they're all like <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and it's like it's like definitely sad too because it's like yeah. you can tell that the girl's like, I was just coming on here for fun. What yeah. the fuck's happening? Oh man. Um poor girl. Yeah. Uh, it's it's such a good game though. So it, we should it, do that. I, I'm so afraid to play it. I don't know why. Should do it. You you don't have a VR headset anymore. No, right? I sold it to him. Yeah, yeah I bought Zach's <laughs> VR headset. Yeah. It's so good. We yeah. should play. We should definitely I would play. Super be down. Um, this is a good question. Um, a Sean O four nine asks. Okay. If, they they the way they asked this is interesting, but they said if you guys were to have a signature move thing you did at a gig, what would it be? Or Alternatively, like, what is your signature move? Thing? Uh, my right, dad always tells signature move. I get on your shoulders. <laughs> Zach gets on my shoulders. I lean. I walk up to the front and I lean forward, and you both do double front flips into the crowd. Yeah, yeah. Good the night. tower of power. <laughs> um, <laughs> Done. That's beautiful. The, uh, the my dad every time he he talks about set it off. He's always like, I can't wait to see Cody do the wing. Which is when you do this. Calls it the wing. He calls it the wing. I'm yeah. convinced it's made my shoulder either stronger or shittier. Yeah. <laughs> Just my crack? one side. Can you do it? Oh, I get cracks all well, the time. That might be it. You yeah. got to stretch uh, the wing. You, yeah, that's what you do. You've done that movie. I do that a lot. And and this you, one. Do you know when I watched one. the movie Eight Mile, how much I couldn't wait yeah. to to do that? Also, dude, such like, a cool scene. Everybody in the three one three. I was like, I want that. I want to do that forever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's amazing. It's yeah. A, yeah, it's fucking dope. Uh, it, goes, it always goes off too. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's such a fun thing to do back. I know. Yeah. yeah. You used to do a really cool guitar spin. What yeah. happened? Yeah, dude. <laughs> used to be all about the spins. <laughs> Yeah, whatever happened to you, man? You used to be doing guitar spins. Dude, you know what that reminded me of? We had a guy, Troy, who he he handled money for who? Does it matter? Uh, just all, any, oh. He would yeah. come in from Warped Tour with bags of money that he had to sort, and we called him T-Roy Money Bags. Yeah, we had a whole song. And one time, T-Roy Money Bags, T-Roy Money Bags. Put the money in the bags. Put the money in the bags. And then it was this whole thing. And... Yeah, I guess he either switched jobs or something, and one of our friends got drunk and said, "What happened to you? Yeah. You used to be about the money. Now you're just what? What did he no, say? No. About the money and, and the, the bag. bag. Now you're just, just about, about the, the money. money. Yeah. And he's just he's just yeah. trying to do his job. He's like, it's he's late, so and I would love sober. to count this and money and yeah. be done. And our, and our friend was so like just messing around. Oh yeah, yeah. it was very funny. You, you scared <laughs> so much. About, what were we talking about before that though? I forgot. Uh, oh shit, I'm sorry. Uh, trademark moves. Yeah, oh, trademark and you're, moves. how come you don't do guitar oh, yeah. spins anymore? I used to do the yeah. guitar spins. I said you were all about the spins. I used to do the yeah, guitar right. throws. I don't know. I I guess like uh, I stopped being 23. Yeah. So. Dude, there was this cool move you did where you like spun it sideways. Like oh yeah, this. I used, yeah, I used to fucking. Throw it like behind my back and then yeah. and then back for yeah. the swan song and we stole mm-hmm. that from a local band. Select start, select wow. start. Well, yeah. I shouldn't say local band. They toured. They there were was good a, yeah, yeah. you guys. I think a lot of bands were doing it at the time, but um, when I joined, I thought it was really cool. Tomahawks. Tomahawks were great, but you also used to write something on the back of your guitar, and that way when oh, you flipped yeah. it up, you could see it. Yeah, I always yeah. thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, 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 I thought it was cool. I, I don't know why. I think it's just because back then I realized I was just kind of biting a lot of other things that I yeah. saw from other people, and yeah. I was like, I got to get rid of this. Dude, my amp yeah. used to say Rafflecopter. <laughs> <laughs> it's in duct tape. I know. 
Yeah, it was it was just, a time. Just throwing it at the it wall, seeing time. it sticks. Things you know? have changed. <laughs> yeah. And thank God. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the tomahawks were cool. Yeah, the tomahawks is like for those who don't know a tomahawk. Uh, well, we I think it's what well, we call them it, but it's when a guitars like at half t- or the songs in halftime is like get in. Oh, and you're going, up, like an axe. Down. Yeah. yeah. That was the thing that injured my nose. Oh, yeah. 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 Because you, it went up. You yeah, had the wrong one. Deviated your septum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, di- you dipped when he weaved. Yep. You dipped when he weaved. And Can't every, doing that. Nope. every time doing you that. dip when he weaves, you're going to get your nose hurt. You're going to have a bad time. You're going to get yourself a boo boo. Oh, yeah. Wait. So the answer was signature move. Oh yeah. Yeah, or like what is or what would your signature? Your if signature it's individual, move. mine is definitely the walk on the crowd thing. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that one's always so yours? awesome. I always do it once. Dude, I, I remember. Do you remember when we were playing? There was a tour we were on, oh. and they had us go like before doors. There was like nobody in the crowd. There was like fifteen people, and I still did it. Yes. Yeah. And I, I, sometimes <laughs> I was like, like, "Fuck this!" Shit. I'm yeah. still doing it. When you do it, sometimes <laughs> they I have to like turn around because I'm like, "Oh god." So I'm gonna see him bust his head open. You yeah. have, you have, you're so agile. Like, how <laughs> do you? You're Spider Man. Like your balance. I just, I just know that if I, I can fall well because I was a very bad skateboarder when okay. I was a kid. Uh, okay. So I, like, I would fall off ramps all the time. So I know I can fall from huge distances, and if it goes bad, I'll be okay. Yeah. And you have a it. couple stage moves that I know of. Uh, feet up on the drums. Got to put the feet up feet on up, the drums. Feet up on the drums. Tongue like, out. Uh, Got to put the tongue, tongue out. out. Um, headbang style. Headbang uh, is iconic. Yeah, my my. I'm starting to pay for that now. Yeah. Is it hurting? I need to get a foam roller. My back <laughs> is killing me. What's what's another one? Oh, I do the uh, this. Oh, the around, around, the, around the head, around the head. Yeah, so, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, looking like you don't want to be there, <laughs> <laughs> wanting to go home. <laughs> no, but in a cool way. Yeah. yeah. But I don't it's know, know what like it is. It's like a. It's like a this. It's like a this. Yeah. Like yeah. It's like a. I'm better than you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm better than you. Yeah, like, oh, God, I'm, I'm getting forced to play a show. The nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, no, yeah. I used to, um, I used to, when I would really, when I focus really hard, I used to either, and I still do sometimes, chew my tongue or like bite my lip. And it was like hurting when I was playing drums because I would, the adrenaline would be going, yeah. I was like hurting myself. And so I was like, I need to do the opposite of that so I don't do it. And I saw whenever Michael Jordan went up for a dunk. He stuck his tongue out, and I was like, "That's sick! I'll just oh, do that I love that instead." That's where that comes from. Yeah, that's amazing. Do you have any gaming tendencies, like with your face that you do? Tongue chewing. If tongue I'm chewing? really focused, I've yeah. noticed I have a, a a really dumb one. Like I, I think I put my lips over my teeth. <laughs> like how? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't about? know. When I'm playing a game and I'm zoning out and I'm focused, I'll go like. <laughs> Wait, the whole right? time? The no. Whole time? Like, I go in and out. I don't hold it. I don't yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would be so painful. I want. <laughs> I don't have a reason for it. It just do... happens. Oh. Well, I mean, I always just. I'm just fidgety oh. as fuck, so I shake my legs constantly. Yeah. Video games. <laughs> I don't think I have, like, a thing that I do, though. You sometimes never know I, until you watch yourself do it. Like sometimes I'll go back I and do watch bite it. my yeah. tongue. Yeah. Sometimes I do bite my tongue, but not when I'm con- when I'm zoning out. So it's the mm. opposite. God, it sounds so painful. I've but got I like marks. I don't on my bite tongue. hard on the side of it. Mm-hmm. I do this. Mm, I do the side. You gotta get the side. It's where the meat is. <laughs> yeah, dude, you do it once and it's like opened up a whole new door. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're I've been it. clean for ten years. <laughs> Fell off the, the wagon. wagon. Fighting my Dude, I want. It'd be so funny if you did like a YouTube tutorial on how to chew your tongue. There's a way to do it. There's a right way to do it. And when you do, it's good. Oh my it's god, really good. <laughs> that's the that's the slogan. Yeah. When you do, it's good. Uh, oh, 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 Let's yeah, see. We got. Uh, uh, we've got one more question. Oh, perfect. Uh, this is actually from the same person. Um, a Sean O forty nine asks: uh, Are there any unwritten mule- <laughs> mules? <laughs> any mules? Any unwritten rules in the music industry? If so, what are they? Unwritten. Uh, be nice to everybody because you don't know who's going to be what. That's yeah. that's rule number one. And it just because it's nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And also because it's nice. The whatever. headlining to- the headlining band decides the rules of the tour. Yeah. Just yeah. respect the rules of the headlining band. Mm-hmm. Like there is a- as long within reason. Within reason, if they're being total assholes to you, Which don't we respect that. I've had to we've deal with, with that several times. Yes, we have. Um, there basically like there is a thing we've noticed where, like the headlining band can punish you if you yeah. don't follow the rules with mm-hmm. that insane I think that is like it, if they if the band fucks up hard enough yeah. sure kick mm-hmm. them off but the if tour. it's something re- like like small and whatever but like for instance there's a thing called backlining and 
you put your like the headlining uh, band's drum kit goes in the back, mm-hmm. and then the band in front of it puts their gear in front of that, gear in front of that, and usually it's that's as far as it goes. And then you will switch out your um, equipment. One time we were headlining, and a, and a band we were on tour with took our equipment off stage when we were headlining yeah. and put theirs up. Apparently, there's some miscommunication between our managers, and that's what it ended up being. But regardless, that is something you just don't yeah. do. Yeah. And then on the and. flip side, um, so we had done a tour with um, All Time Low. This was yeah. a couple years ago, uh-huh. and um, obviously, like they're a very sizable band. Mm-hmm. They can they can do whatever they want, and it's yeah. like, yeah, well, thank you for having us. Yeah, that's, a, that's what it's about. It's yeah. like, thanks for having us. Where, exactly. How can we, you know, blend in and not be a problem? And they <laughs> they with without us asking, they struck their kit off stage yeah. they took their stuff off stage mm-hmm. which is such a small thing seemingly but it meant so much to like all of the opening bands yep. to be like you didn't have to do that yeah, yeah they had- you went out of your way to be kind and to this day when people ask like hey what are some bands that you've toured with that are really really great we make sure to say like they all were super yeah cool. you can't they say a bad awesome. thing like, about that yeah. band it's so also cool to see them uh, just do well the end of that tour it was like a short uh, shorter tour and uh, to thank them for bringing us out uh, we got them a bottle of champagne and we we're yeah. going to go bring it to them and, uh, you know, give them this bottle of champagne and we go into our green room and they bought us the same exact <laughs> bottle of champagne. Yeah. Like, oh my fucking God, yeah. of course you would. Yeah. yeah. Of course. It's that, like the neighbor you can't like, that just keeps one up in you. I'm constantly. One, <laughs> like that, constantly. that level of kindness you think would be more common, but it's really not. And I think from that, from touring with people like them and, and other artists that, that we really enjoyed, like mm-hmm. we've tried to make it our goal to be like, when you tour with us, we want you to feel like exactly you're part yeah. of it and like you're having a good time. It, should be, and it shouldn't feel like you're being under a microscope the exactly. whole time. Or being like – Walking yeah, like, on eggshells. Or like oh, someone's yeah. better than you because yeah, they're yeah, in a different yeah, that, band. Like yeah, that's yeah. stupid. Also like it, like uh, treating bands with respect of like if they're smaller, like get, making sure that they're comfortable mm-hmm. uh, with a green room, with – uh, w- if they have any sort of writer like food or alcohol that they might want like making sure that the the that band is being taken care of because yeah. there's definitely been tours where we have been taken care of and haven't been taken care of and there's a huge difference in the mm-hmm. tour and in, in the morale overall oh yeah, yeah. yeah. the scene is small people talk like yeah they'll... and you don't know if the people that are being disrespected are the people that are going to come up and you're going to ask them for a tour someday yeah, yeah. so you better treat everyone with respect you never know this is also that brings us back to rule number one yeah <laughs> there's also another rule that it's it's just like a fact of life when you tour there's always someone in the bathroom that, so, that is rule number anytime, one anytime <laughs> anytime you go to use the bathroom on tour someone is already in there you can't yeah. use the bathroom yeah. I don't know what to tell you yeah, yeah. So, so start planning ahead yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait at least a couple yeah. minutes yeah well, dude, that's been an amazing episode. Oh, yeah. um, that was a long one. I had a lot of fun. We definitely yeah. had a lot to catch up on. Oh, yeah. And then playing the music out, right? So yeah, I mean, I'm done doing the song now. <laughs> and thank you so much for listening. We have been Cody. Max. Zach. And this is the Talk It Off Podcast. Off. <laughs>